This is a 14-pound sphere of pure plutonium. They called it the demon core. Because if you made one tiny mistake near it, your death would begin instantly and it would not be fast. The year is 1945. At a top secret lab, scientist Harry Daglian was performing an experiment, stacking heavy tungsten bricks around the core. Suddenly he dropped one. The room was flooded with an eerie blue flash of light. He knew instantly what he had done. He had created a miniature, uncontrolled nuclear reaction. He frantically knocked the brick away, but it was too late. The dose was fatal. He died 25 days later in agony. The core was now infamous. They called it the Demon Core. A year later, a brilliant and daring scientist named Louis Slotin was demonstrating the same experiment. But he was doing it his own much riskier way, using nothing but a simple flathead screwdriver to keep the two halves of a beryllium sphere from closing around the core. His hand slipped. Again, the blue flash. A wave of heat. The taste of acid in the air. But Slotin didn't run. He ripped the spheres apart with his bare hands, absorbing a massive dose, but saving the other seven men in the room. He calmly turned to his colleague and said, Well, that does it. He died just nine days later. These were some of the most brilliant minds on the planet, working on the edge of human knowledge. They knew the risks better than anyone. But they pushed the boundary just one millimeter too far.